Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we will show you a gorgeous country home located between Gulionesi and Termoli in Molise. The home is less than 10 minutes from beaches, it's full of character and privacy. I'm sure you will love it. Okay, this house is out of town. As you can see, uh, the freeway is here, but that isn't an entrance, so that's that's closed off. Uh, these trees are bordering the property, and the entrance is way down there. And this is the entrance. It's got electronic gates, which we've gone through already. This is a real country house. Property. Seems to be the only property around here um, and it's not far from Termoli, probably about seven kilometers. There's Gulianesi there. Sort of outbuilding, I'm not sure what that is, I'll find out. And uh, then go around to the back of the house. Looks like you've got a well there. Property extends all the way down to there and around to the front with olive trees. So there's the back of the house. This looks like a garage. Side of the house. It's like someone hasn't lived here for quite a while. It's a beautiful spot here, really nice size, 
Terrace. So that's on the side of the house. And then we've got back to the front of the house. Balcony up there. Shutters all on the windows. So let's go inside. Oh, actually, hang on, before we do that, let's have a look down the side of the house. So this is the other side and where those olive trees were. So we've got another undercover area here. Very nice and cool under here. Nice pergola, I guess you call that. And that's the extent of the yard. And back to where we were before. So let's go. Under is one is and back to the front of the house. Entrance. So I guess a little window. Okay, so with that entrance, basically into this small room. Then go straight upstairs by the looks of it. Okay, very nice stairs, nicely rested. Beautiful window, shaped window here, looking out into the the yard there. Property, Some beautiful olive trees. Continue up the stairs and into a hallway here. We've got the first room here, it looks like a dining, kitchen, living area. Oh, it's very nice. Oh yeah, yeah, it just has a beautiful feeling, feel about it. It's a great size room, fireplace. Got some bench seating there. Look at that window, look at the view onto your own property. Can't see anyone but yes, your own property. And the entrance there, let's have a look outside. <sighs> It's beautiful. Okay, so from the other side of the room, we see that good size with the height of the ceilings. The dining area here, it's got Tomasophony. And here we have the kitchen. And actually the kitchen's more modern than I would have thought, but it but also quaint. 
little eat-in kitchen. So it still has the oven. They haven't taken everything out. It's got a little table, a little coffee in the morning. Nice light, really nice space. And again, there's the window looking out. So great sun. Okay, so we had the kitchen here and this is like a laundry, I was going to say pantry, but um, there's the hot water. Also has a window. So that's a laundry and then back into the kitchen. So I've just discovered that this house is huge and I thought this room was big, which it is, and it's absolutely beautiful room. Um, it's got a great feeling about it, but it's nothing. This, this house is just up the top of this, the top level is five bedroom and two bathroom. And you've got that room that we just went to and then this room, so sort of a grand room and it's looking out again onto the your olive grove. Yes, it's yours because you're buying it. <laughs> okay, so step up here to this beautiful grand room. fireplace and again see if I can give you some perspective of this house okay look at that it's beautiful so here's the view again and you have this seating area this stone and the, another perspective of this large room. Okay, so let's go and have a look at the bedrooms. Just bear with me. It, it can seem like a bit of a labyrinth, but it's not too bad. So you enter the sleeping quarters, I guess, here. So here's the uh, first bedroom. Look at that floor. That's beautiful. Uh, okay, it's got a nice feel about this room as well, again. Look at that furniture. Not sure if furniture comes with that. This room has a access to this beautiful balcony. Look at that. Oh my God, that's gorgeous. Maybe this is a primary bedroom. I don't think so, but it's a nice bedroom, I think. Uh, then we come through back here. So that's where we came from. That was the entrance. And this area, we've got the bathroom on the right and another bedroom. So again, beautiful wooden floors. Really nice shape, like a curve shape to this bedroom. And built-ins. Again, very, very, very high ceilings. Um, this house is Spanish style, so Spanish style in Italy. <laughs> Here we go, bathroom. Very functional, nice size, and quite a big shower space. It's not a bath, but 
It's a nice size because generally showers are quite small in Italy. There we are. So that's the first bathroom. And then we'll go through down this hallway where we have the other bedrooms. So first one here, again, look at the floor. It's gorgeous. <clears throat> Bookshelves. Nice window and again, this is a smaller room, but it has a beautiful feel about it. You can see me there. Ah. I like to see what books people read. Maybe that's the writer in me, but it really interests me. I'll have a look at this later. I can't see. I have a close look, but <laughs> okay. So back out into the hallway and we have to the left the second bathroom big sort of cupboard space there i think um yeah so sort of pantry pantry space that's great god you don't often get that here and what's that? There we are. Nice shelving. And we've got the bathroom. Again, very nice space. View to the garden, complete privacy. And a mirror, we don't want to see me. No one wants to see me. No one wants to see me. Okay, and out back into the hallway. Into the, maybe the fourth bedroom. This is probably the smallest bedroom, although they have a massive <laughs> closet which could be taken out to make this a study or a, or a bigger bedroom that you don't need such a huge gain nice view and into the final bedroom on this level I don't know if this is the master bedroom I guess it depends this seems like the biggest bedroom and again, it's gorgeous, the floor. However, this one doesn't have a balcony like the other one, but it again has a beautiful view of the front garden. Okay, here we have the gazebo, which we were here before. And we've got this giant room. Uh, it's like a massive country kitchen. <laughs> um, this is typical of Italy. They have one kitchen upstairs, another one that they cook in bulk and they can sit casually. A lot of people, this, look at this table, it's got enough room for 10 people at least and um, look at this kitchen you know this this just needs a bit of love no one's lived here for a little while I think maybe three or four years and at the back here you've got a little laundry slash toilet so a little half bath and laundry and back out into the kitchen and you can see when you go out you open these doors and you've got the gazebo 
and this beautiful undercover area here this is gorgeous and of course out into the garden if you enjoy our content please consider supporting us on patreon i will leave the link on the description you can play soccer here easily it's that big Now if we go down here, there are, um, that's that kitchen that we were just in. Okay, so there are, there is another part of the house which we can't get into. Uh, it's locked for some reason, but um, we can just look through, or we look through there to the garage. We've seen that already. So that's a good sized garage for any car in there. And then we go back under this little terracey, covered terrace area. This is gorgeous as well. And here we are. This is the room we can't get into. So let's see if I can mm, have a look there. Uh, There's another couple of rooms in there. So that room, so that room there, and then that room there. So at least a couple of rooms, and also down the bottom here. Here, another. There's also this block which is behind this outbuilding which we saw the other side of and it has this land all around and also so this that's the other side where we were and it goes down here. I've got a gas tank here. Before. Um, and it's this land, this bit of land as well, I, I believe. And Alessandra's not sure actually, but then we've got these outbuildings uh, like. Sort of like garages, but you know, used for your equipment, tractor, and so forth. And turn over here, and this area. So that's where we came from there. And then you go through this garden, which is where the house was. So through here to the house, 
and that's the other side of that building that we're just on and there's the house there so we've got this area and this is so go back through here and more trees another this looks like it could be like a chicken coop kind of thing it was yes this looks definitely for animals there we are gallo <laughs> And it's a beautiful area, look. Cleaned up, it's got a tree, it's covered. And this is another entrance. This is closed off, but we've got the garden down here which goes to the house where we are and we're parked, that's where we're parked here uh, where we are parked there so if we're looking at the house here okay so this is sort of like the main house and that's that room up there is part of it we went there and this here this house Here and this area, all this house here is like another house. This place will make a perfect family home with lots and lots of room to move for your plants in the future. Thank you so much for watching this video. We hope that you enjoyed it. As always, please let us know your thoughts in the comment section. Thank you so much to our patrons for the generosity. Your extra support is really appreciated. Please consider watching this video. I'm sure you'll find it entertaining and informative. Please remember to like, comment and subscribe and we'll see you next time. Ciao!